guys, I'm Bo Lorenzen, the FPV Guy S. And as you know, this week I'm trawling through CES 2018 and looking at new, I want to call them toys, but they're really, some of them much more than toys. Right now I'm at the Unique booth and we looked at the new Ace, but they also have a new fixed wing FPV aircraft. It has a lot of cool little feature, like you can fold and take it apart here, so it gets really compact, pop the wings out, and it flies with an app and with a set a controller with a regular stick. And you're looking at about what is it like five six hundred bucks? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. yeah. It would be five ninety nine to six ninety nine. Yeah. With me here is Mike McCorville. Did I say that right? Yep, Mike McCorville. Yeah. Who is the product manager for the for Firebird FPV, which implies that you can fly these goggles? Yes. Tell me about it. Um, so you can fly uh, either goggles or uh, or with the phone in uh, in the, the new ST10C controller. So when you fly with the phone, I'm assuming this is video coming down to through the app. Yes. Can you get HDMI out of the controller by any chance? Uh, HDMI out of the controller. Out of the yeah. controller. Yeah. So I could plug that into my HDMI compatible yes. goggles and not use the phone. You can. You can. I like that because sometimes I'm worried about apps freezes on me. Yeah. The one the one disadvantage to that is uh, the app has a really slick uh, uh, OSD, so it gives you a lot of flight days, just like you're in the cockpit, which is really the key point of this right. product. Is it allows you to fly uh, and this uh, up to 500 meters away, uh, which is quite far. So it's about 1,500 size. feet. Yeah, um, and it's, it puts you in the cockpit of an airplane, so anyone, and almost everyone, is, aspires to fly airplanes full scale. Um, and this lets you do it um, safely and from the ground and without having to go get a pilot's license. Um, so anyway, that was kind of a long-winded way of saying that's the one thing you lose with the uh, HDMI output is you don't get the full OSD or the hard because that's data. part of the yeah, that's that's now the hardest the thing app. for new this at 600 bucks this is really a entry-level product. Um, new users are getting into the market from yeah. the big FPV bird. Yeah. The hardest thing is landing. Yes. So that's one of the cool things with this is, and, and something we spent a great deal of time working on at the flight control for this. Um, it's GPS equipped, it's fully sensor equipped, so it has a, a very robust stability system, um, including auto landing. Um, so it knows its home point, it knows it's the direction it took off, which with an airplane you always take off, land into the wind. So it knows how it took off and it'll target that point and land by itself. Um, but in the same direction? Or yes, in the same direction, so it's landing into the wind. So that if you have a narrow runway, runway, it's not going to come in sideways? Correct, it'll, it'll, it'll land the same direction that, that you took off. But, and I'm asking this because it's easy to get in the air, you just kind of put the goggles on, you yeah. mash the throttle and next thing you know you're flying. But getting these things back down in one piece, that's the hard it, part. It's a, it's a trick, and that's why we spent so much time working on auto landing and get it working as well as it does. And when you're in the air, it also has uh, stability features, flight modes. It has three different flight modes. Um, two of them have stability built in, so... Uh, Basically, so basically, you, you can fly you, the you stick and steer it around it like a car. You, you move the stick, you know, to turn, just move the stick over and turn it like a car. It just banks and it stops banking at, at about 45 degrees and just turns. Um, you can turn that off, all that stability, and it's actually fairly aromatic and leave it flat side down. Um, so, do loops and rolls, but that's that's for people who can fly. When I look at the bottom here, yeah. I see a couple of sensors. What is that? Yeah, they're infrared sensors um, and optical flow. Um, that's for, for close proximity. So that's when you uh, land, it knows when to flare. So yes, when it auto lands, it knows when to flare. It also has barrow, barometric pressure, but that okay. is, that's good for higher altitude and for broader. Is this camera moving? The camera is panning left and right. Yeah. Pans right, left and right. Yeah. Now, so as you're flying around, it's like if you were in the cockpit. It's it's most important to be able to look, you know, look now, to your left, look to your is, right. I see a fun toy here. Oh yeah, absolutely. But what is the? Is there any commercial uses for this? It's really a consumer-based product. It's a consumer-based yeah. product. Yeah, it really doesn't have the, uh, the, the the payload capacity to to really add any any type of other sensor packages that would that would make it really uh, that adaptable to, to well, the commercial yeah. use. But you know, I we're mean, just starting, I see a so. spot right here for a camera. Yeah, that's yeah. like a whole. You know, imagination. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, this would also with a down-facing camera. 
and geotagging of the images, this would be an outstanding 3D scanning model to create for Pix4D or similar 3D models yeah. for construction companies, railroads, whatever you need. Certainly not not in the, the, the scope of this initial intro, but things are very adaptable. I mean, that's where most of the things are coming from right now that are Everything's being driven. Swing. They're all adapt, mostly, not all, adaptations of, of some type of consumer product or hobby product. So, my the real question is, when when do when are these ships? When do I get to fly? Early uh, spring of this year. June of this year. Some before June. Before I June. think we should be on the. We hope to be in the in the marketplace about April. Brilliant. So there you have it, guys. Sometimes in April, I'm going to upload a video with this. We're going to take it flying. We'll show you how it all works. We'll walk you through from the unbox till we are in the air. So stay tuned for more videos. And of course, click up in the corner here where it says subscribe. Of course, we've got a lot more CES 2018. It's changed every year. Yeah, it's a lot weird. More it? CES 2018 coming. Mike, thank you so much for My time. pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about it. Put this down before I break it. <laughs>